Welcome back guys. Today we're going to have another little painting session. This time I'm going to be using oils. Um, so I have an 8x10 canvas panel. These are oil paints. Now I was doing another painting just a few minutes ago, finishing up. Um, so I, I had some paint left, so I figured, well, let me show you guys, do a little video for you. Uh, let me tell you about the colors that I have. Um, I have cad yellow medium, yellow ochre, uh, lizard crimson, um, cerulean blue, ultramarine blue, burnt sienna. Now this is black, which I really don't use, um, but I've been playing around with it for another little project. But it's on the palette, I'm not gonna use it, probably not. White, and then this is Iridian Green. These are odd end colors over here. This is, uh, what kind of color is that? Permanent Green, I think is what it is. Yeah. Permanent Green and Cadmium Red. Um, medium. So anywho, uh, let's start, uh, I'm gonna draw, what, here, this is what we're painting, perhaps I should show you. Okay, we're gonna have a little bit of fun with this. <clears throat> so for the darker areas of the wave, what we're gonna do, it's like a dark purplish color. We can achieve this by just going ultramarine blue, a little bit of um, legend crimson. Sorry, I'm getting lost in my in my uh, thinking here. Actually, I am missing one color. Ooh, no good. Okay, it's okay. Actually, I needed some burnt umber, but we'll make do with what we got. Let's see what kind of side. Let's add a little bit of Viridian green to this. A little more Sienna. We're just going to use whatever I got left here. It works. We're gonna make it work. So let's make some more of that mix, a little bit of Viridian Green. Sienna, a little bit of red here. I'm thinning out these colors by using my odorless mineral spirit to, you know, to really spread this thin. It's going to do two things. Well, it's going to spread it thin, one, of course. And the second thing is, is that it uh, will help with the drying times. It's gonna drastically reduce the drying time. There you go. Now there's some green here, so let's go with, why not, I got Viridian green right here. A little bit of this yellow. I will try and post a picture somewhere in one of the corners. I'm trying to make it like a dark green. Again, use my medium. Let's see how 
how far this goes, like this. We're just doing approximate colors here. Okay, because we're probably going to go back over some parts of it. I'm using an, I'm sorry, a number six flat. Just want to let you guys know. Some dark green here. I'm putting approximate colors here and there. Now, let's make another batch of that green, a little bit of yellow, and white. for this part of the wave I'm doing like up and down strokes I will show direction uh, show you guys how to do directional you know to show direction and uh, when you're painting meaning curvature of course Ooh, did I pick up paint somewhere Now everything is going to be a little bit dark initially, but uh, we'll work on the midtones after. So now I'm going to do the darker parts of the white foam. You see, it's not all white. It's got this impression of being white, but it's not. So we're going to make this cool gray more on the blue side. After that, I'm going to start going in with thicker paint. Wherever I'm seeing these approximate gray colors is where I'm laying down some of this stuff. All right. Now for the fun part. Let's start adding some white. Really going thick here. being too careful as you notice just putting it where I think I need it what's nice about putting down this white the way I'm doing it is I get to see uh, where my lightest lights are gonna be and my Uh, where I'm going to have
have some half tones and where I'm gonna need some darker darks to bring out this white even more. And remember, some of you, whoever, you know, if you're just now joining me, uh, my channel, um, I paint very impressionistically, okay? Uh, I don't paint with detail. I don't like painting with details. I kind of think it's a bit boring, for me at least, my opinion. I have to leave... <clears throat> the viewer with some imagination, right? Gotta let them come to their own conclusions because that's what's gonna make the painting interesting. Now you see how this white is really showing against some of these uh, gray tones that I put it down blah, 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 that I put down here so now I'll be able to better judge how dark or how light I want certain colors to go and notice how I'm curving some of this splash here it gives the wave definition despite the fact that I went straight like this and then straight down like that eventually I'll be able to you know, show you guys how to um, show form. I guess that's the, that was a better word to use. Form in your painting. So, okay, some of these colors mixed together. It's all part of the process. So now I know I need to go darker here, some parts of it. Let me see. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Let me see. Let some of that mix together. Okay. So now I'm going to use a bristle brush for a good portion of the painting. This is a number two bristle, not synthetic bristle, bristle brush. This is a pure bristle brush reason why I'm using a pure bristle brush at this point because I'll be able to remove a lot of paint, put a lot of thicker paint uh, with this brush, okay? And it's what I need right now. So, uh, let's start by adding where I feel I need some darker darks to bring out some of this highlight. So what I did was use basically a mid-value color. What I mean by mid-values, let's say a value of 1 is white, a value of 10 is black. I'm at somewhere between five and six, maybe seven at some points. But what that does is gives me the flexibility to go darker or lighter on some colors, okay? Uh, because I'm not one that can hit the values right on the mark. So I just, you know, go halfway and see where I need to go from there. And it helps me that way. So now let's see, let's uh, find some of these dark colors I need to do here. Some blue, maybe a little bit of Lurgan Crimson, Burnt Sienna, a little bit of white. So let's see. I need to turn that into a little bit more white, make it more of a grayish color. Let me add a little bit of Yellow ochre, red, blue, give it more of a really gray down color. There we go. So now I start sculpting basically the shape of the wave and where I want some of these splashes to show. This is like it shows, you know, the side of the wave where you know not much color not much light is hidden through here some here same here as well
Okay. I want to show some movement with this. Uh, some here as well and here I'm basically really not using that much thinner if any so I'm varying these grays some a little bit on the bluer side of gray and some on the uh, warmer side really I need to go a little bit cooler let me see some on this side here I'm putting a little bit of haphazardly in some places, okay? So, let me see. Let me work on more. Maybe add a little bit of white. A hint. A hint of yellow really light just to warm some of these colors up against all this cool color see how that light is showing up I'm going thicker pushing these highlights a little bit everywhere. It's kind of impossible for me to have every single bit of highlight um, to make every little intricate um, part of this wave it would take me a while it can be done I'm not saying it can't I can do it but as for the sake of this video I won't be able to do it so just showing you how to make a really quick impressionistic wave here just there you go just like that just move the color wipe your brush because sometimes other colors get mixed in going thick a little bit of yellow I added just a little bit of medium to make my paint move a little bit more free. Okay, so let's see, there's my brush a lot of white you see I'm not making everything 
highlighted just some parts of the wave not every part of it some parts I'm letting some parts blend and some parts I want you know um, more controlled And you're gonna see how we're gonna mix some of this green into this and really show, uh, uh, make a beautiful transition of colors. I'm letting some of these colors mix here. Let me go and now I'm going to be pulling the colors back and forth. And what I mean by that, push some of this blue into here to kind of flatten out some parts of the water. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. So now I'm using a number two round brush. I'm gonna mix some more of this color here, ultramarine blue, a little bit of burnt sienna. Some white, uh, maybe more burnt umber. A little bit of crimson, too much crimson. There you go. Bring some of this color in. Let some of this white mix with it. And now I'm making this trail of wash. Let's use make some more of this green here. We're going to be mixing it with some of this white in here. So I'm using Viridian green, a little bit of yellow, a little bit too much. Let's go with some burnt sienna and ultramarine blue. Let's extend. And I'm letting some of this white, and then brushing my brush off, let some of this white mix into it. Some darker areas here. Right under some of these pockets.
Just going a little bit everywhere. I'm defining the shape and form of this wave here. It's dark back here. Viridian, ultramarine blue, maybe a little bit of Lizarin. And notice I'm still using a big brush here. Now I'm feathering out some of this. greenish color letting it blend on some of these edges same here really really go for like some in here show the breakup of this wave here Hell, even some in here. Let's show some. Of this wash breaking in. Let's go darker. Put some back here just peeking through. There you go. Some transition color into the background wave here. make a transition I'm making almost following the curvature of the wave here I'm just adding on some other places where I want some of this green to show almost mixing with the wave here in green a little bit of yellow and lots of white follow the curvature Not doing it everywhere just sparsely let some of this 
how the darker color show through. accentuate it a little bit more I put the way I put the veins in and I just move my brush a certain way and then I make some more defined veins by not squishing when I do this I'm flattening out the colors the paint so it's not too too sharp and then I'll put sharper veins afterwards. There you go. Let me balance that out over here. switch up my brush I'm going to do a number two round again but this one's got a sharper point to it versus this one uh, let's me let's me let me make some of the nuances uh, in the water a lot of burnt sienna ultramarine blue maybe a little bit of white let me see That should work. Just making these little uh, these little dark areas in the wash, plus defining the wave a little bit more, at least the base of the wave. Watch this. Now we're just going to go around some of them, even going over some of them. If you have like too many, just go around like this. However you see fit. I'm loading up my brush like really good and I'm not doing everywhere just some places there you go let's 
some shadows under these waves here. See, this is pretty much dry over here because I used the mineral spirits. There's your wave, folks. Um, so in real time, it took me about 46 minutes to do this painting, eight by 10 oils. Again, I wanna say thank you to all of you for all your support and watching my channel. Um, you know, share it with your friends, your artist friends. Um, it really supports my channel. It helps me out, especially with the algorithm. Um, again, thank you for supporting me and I'll see you on the next painting and bless you all. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm pretty prompt about answering all questions with about the materials or whatever you need to know that I used. Um, other than that, thank you very much guys. Have a great evening.